It has been one year since the country mourned the loss of a fallen soldier from the Argyle Sutherland Highlanders of Canada. On Wednesday evening, bagpipes could be heard at the Argyle Pavilion in Bayfront Park to remember Corporal Nathan Cirillo, who was gunned down while performing sentry duty at the National War Memorial in Ottawa on October 22, 2014. The service was held by the regiment's padre, Robert Feed, and was an opportunity for final goodbyes and messages of thanks to the public for the outpouring of love and support. Those in attendance also had the opportunity to hear from Cirillo's sister, Nicole, emotionally speak of Nathan. And all we want to do is go back to the world that we once knew, the world that involved Nathan, the world that we understood. Instead, now we need to learn how to cope with our new lives and move forward with Nathan in our hearts and memories. Nathan was a proud soldier and a kid at heart. He loved being the center of attention and loved animals. He loved challenges and change. He loved adventure and risk, but most of all, Nathan loved. He loved his family and friends, and anyone that knew him knows how much love was behind that perfect smile. After the sunset ceremony, the sound of bagpipes accompanied the Argyles as they marched their way back to the John Foot Weir armories. From the community, what we've seen has been like unquestionable, overwhelming support. Uh, it just uh, like a, a unanimous amount of support uh, from everybody we've run into. Um, I mean, obviously, we had all the contributions that were laid out here and all the support of the Cirillo family, uh, and the turnout for the parades and events that we participated in has been enormous and offered a lot of encouragement to our soldiers. We're going to be supplying a 50-man guard to the uh, event in Ottawa. Uh, and in addition to that, we have uh, also some members from the, like the officers' mess and the pipes and drums and uh, some additional members that aren't part of that composition, that 50-man guard, who are going to take part in uh, an unveiling of a plaque that's being uh, laid out at the memorial tomorrow following the initial ceremony. It's quite sad about what happened, so we're showing our respects and our honor for what happens. It's like it's like um you have a family and your family sticks with you whenever you have troubles. So like we stick with the Cirillo family because when they have a trouble, we our reserves will be there for them and they'll stick with them. Reporting for Mohawk College Journalism, I'm Lordana Dalbella.